Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now let me ask you all a question, alright? Let's try to think of what we think about first when, we, when I say spiders, alright? So first they have eight legs, they make webs, and they eat bugs, right? These three things are what we think spiders really do. But that last one, eating bugs, that may not always be true because sometimes spiders do enjoy a salad sometimes, right? Guess what? Spiders love their greens too. After conducting an extensive worldwide research study, they were, having, they were studying a lot about these spiders. Zoologists or scientists that study animal behavior from the United States, the United Kingdom and Switzerland believe that spiders have a much more sophisticated or complicated or hard to really understand and varied diet than previously believed. So previously, before, scientists believed that their diets did not vary. It didn't change much. They only ate the same thing. And it was not sophisticated, it was just simple, right? They catch whatever comes into the web. This is what they thought before. However, now scientists are saying they actually vary their diet. They like eating different things. And they're, it's much more sophisticated. It's much more intricate and much more complex and hard to understand. Maybe sometimes when their stomach hurts, they eat this plant. Or when they're feeling tired, they eat this bug, right? They really think about it. Uh, besides eating an occasional, sometimes frog and fish, Spiders have shown a strong preference for greens. So preference is when we have a choice. We have chocolate or vanilla, for example, right? And I usually pick the chocolate, so I have a preference for chocolate, right? So with the spider, they have greens, like a grass and a, a bird, then they will sometimes have a preference for the grass. They will sometimes choose the grass. They will like it more. Researchers studied spiders from 10 different species. 10 different kinds of spiders, right? And they're studying each one. And what they discovered was eye-opening. Eye-opening means very shocking and surprising. They say the spiders fed on a diverse or many different group of plants that included shrubs, these small little uh, plants, weeds, and ferns. <clears throat> These are all very low-growing plants, greens. The spiders were also observed enjoying other plant, plant source foods like nectar, like fruit, plant sap, and even seeds. So they're eating plants, they're eating fruits, seeds, all sorts of things. All of the spiders studied, of all of them, it was the jumping spider that impressed the scientists the most. Impressed is when you feel, when you watch something that was very amazing and something you cannot do and you're very proud, you're like, wow, that's very good, I'm impressed, right? The sp this spider was <clears throat> accountable or responsible for 60% of all of the plant eating occurrences. This jumping spider really loved his plants. This study <clears throat> The study was published in Journal of Arcanology, which is a study of plant, uh, spiders. Sorry, I'm going to say that one more time. Journal of Arachnology. So arachnophobia, as we all know, is the fear of spiders. Arachnid is what we call the spider family. Earlier this year, the study also revealed or also sort of showed, presented that plant-eating spiders thrive on every continent. Thriving means they're very healthy and they're growing in numbers on every continent except Antarctica. No surprise. Additionally, it revealed that the spiders living in warm climates, warm temperature areas, seem to really enjoy different plant types. All right? All right, we have three main review questions here. The first one, what did the zoologist find out after conducting an extensive research study. What did these animal scientists find out? They discovered spiders have a much more blank diet 
than previously believed. So previously believed, before they were thinking, oh, spiders will eat anything. They don't care. They don't think about their food. They just eat anything. However, that's not true. They found out after this study, after conducting it, they found out that spiders actually have a more harder to understand way. It's not a simple way. It is a sophisticated way. So simple would be something that's easy to do and easy to understand. But the opposite, sophisticated, would be how to make a computer or how to fix somebody's brain. These are all sophisticated, hard to understand, near impossible to understand. B. What else do spiders eat besides other than frogs and fish? Spiders feed on a blank group of plants, including shrubs, weeds, and ferns. So these three plants, shrubs, weeds, and ferns, spiders eat them, right? But there's also a lot more different plants that they, they could eat the corn, they could eat uh, some kind of tree, right? So all these different and um, varying groups, we call them diverse. So if you were to go to a supermarket, you can see a diverse amount of, you know, any kind of food. There's so many different kinds of food that's diverse, right? C. <coughs> Excuse me. What else did the study reveal? The study revealed that plant-eating spiders thrive. They're flourishing. They're growing in numbers on every continent except for the continent that is very, very cold and no real, you know, people or animals live there. Not a lot but it is Antarctica. It's in the very, very, very south of the world. And, you know, really it's not surprising because spiders can't live in cold places. All right, we have three key terms here. A, besides eating, other than eating an occasional frog and fish, spiders have shown a strong blank for greens. So when we give the spider a choice, we have choice A, which is the frog and fish, and we have choice B, which is greens, like salad and grass and plants and vegetables. So when we give them the choice, the spider sometimes picks the frog and fish, but other times they have shown a choice or they like the plants more. When you like something more, we say we have a preference for something. We like something more. So if you have a preference for sitting down or standing up, what, if you could choose, which do you enjoy more? Which do you like more? B, of all the spiders studied, <coughs> sorry, it was the jumping spider that blanked the scientists the most. So we, they studied 10 different spiders and out of all those 10, there was one kind of spider, a very special jumping spider they did something very amazing or very shocking or surprising and we say that is impressive or they impressed the scientists. It makes the scientists go, wow, that was a good job, right? Because this jumping spider was eating the most vegetables. It was eating a lot of it. C. Additionally, it blank that the spiders living in warm air climates seem to really enjoy different type plant types. So again, in cold climates, Antarctica, they cannot live there, but in warm climates, they're thriving, right? So, um, hold on here. After this study, they were studying these spiders and what they found, they have to tell people about it, right? Say, hey, we studied this, look what we found, they're showing you something, they're displaying something. So we say that is to reveal something. So after they study, they reveal this information that spiders living in warmer places, they actually eat more plants and greens than previously thought, than we thought before. So to review, preference is when we have a choice and we like something more. Second one, impressed, is when we see something very amazing and someone does a good job or we're very shocked and very proud that we say, wow, I'm impressed. And reveal is to show something for the first time to people. So at this study, nobody studied this before, but after they studied it, 
now we know because they revealed it. We know because they showed it to us, all right? So next time we see a web or spiders in the ceilings, then see if they have any plants or salads up there. All right, uh, thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.